from the year 1889, Rabindranath Tagore started to look over his family estates. In the process, he organized numerous activities to uplift the economic status of the villages. The ashram in Shantiniketan was founded in 1901. In 1905, Tagore got directly involved in the partition of Bengal movement. His experience in Shiloh Daho, an area in Bangladesh, also helped him to frame a model for Sriniketan. Thus, with numerous trials and experiments, the works in Sriniketan officially started on 6th February 1922. The areas like Bhubondanga, Bandgara, Raipur and Shupur were regularly visited by the students of Vishwabharati. On 13th November 1921, there was a meeting in the house of Rathindranath Tagore. It was decided that cattle rearing, poultry, beekeeping and different types of farming will be done by the Department of Agriculture, Shantiniketan. Later, on 23rd July 1922, Shurul Shamiti was founded. Under the guidance of Mr. Elmhurst, rural reconstruction work started in Sriniketan. Only 10 students from the ashram joined him in the beginning. Four of them had to leave later. The other six students worked hard day and night in many villages around to transform the rural economy. A night school was set up in Shurul village. Malaria was one of the biggest health hazards at the time. In 1924, health committee was set up. A granary was made in 1922. Cooperative bank, women empowerment association and a separate girls school was also made in 1927. The rural reconstruction efforts started with only three villages in 1922. By 1930, it was 12 villages. After independence in 1952, 109 villages were transformed 
by Srini Ketan. In 1939, Srini Ketan was divided into Shilpo Bhavan and Rural Education. National Extension Service was a project launched by the Indian government in 1955. Srini Ketan participated in it and played a major role for rural development across India. Famine, epidemic, drought and floods were frequent in Birbhum district. To handle these disasters, Tagore focused primarily on social works. The first step towards development is to establish proper communication with the villagers. Then their problem is identified. Proper research is done in the department to find a solution. Then the solution is implemented. This procedure was called as extension service by Elmhurst. Death during childbirth was another major problem for the women in the area. To counter this, an association for women and child health was set up in 1947. In those days, local women, popularly called as Daima, used to act as nurses. Four of them were selected and given proper scientific training. They used to work in eight villages across Ballopur. Later, more women were trained for the same purpose. Today, the departments of Polli Shikha Bhavan, Social Works and Agriculture still carry forward the legacy of Sriniketan. The students from these departments carry out numerous research works which have been highly beneficial for the rural economy. They work in collaboration with different other institutions to achieve Tagore's goal of self-reliance.
when it began in 20th century this was the sole university in the world to include rural studies into their curriculum since then this institution has served as a guide and an inspiration for welfare activities across the country